Who you want? Who are you? August. Heard the bad news then, did you? What bad news? About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old haunt. With the forge and all that. Well, anyway, the mines just down the road from there are spewing out ether like no one's business. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. Akashic. Every creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turning, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help, and quick. Dorish sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon, the old place will be overrun. I won't let that happen. Didn't think you would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. He'd only do something stupid. You reckon we should tell him? No. It's better this way. Yeah, well... I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. I'll see you in Dravosht. Fuck. Why did it have to happen now? Sick. What do you want? Ice brand. This is supposed to be Jill's, you know, like maybe dominant sword, whatever. Give me that. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Anything new here? No. Oh, fuck, I want this. <laughs> I need the stone tongue. I need a comet feather. Where the fuck do I get those? Ah, fuck. Anything else? How about you, Captain's boy? Sir. Why do you call me sir? I and the others of Curse Breakers have grown concerned in regards of the well-being of our captain. Despite their apparent uh, unrest, her recent investi investigation had visited upon her. Lady Doris refused all offers of assistance. It is not too much trouble. I would ask you to please speak with the captain and learn from what troubled her, uh, her so deeply. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me. But I can speak to her at least. How many side quests are in this place? There's one over there. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna try to do all the fucking side quests. God damn it. I'll get free XP, but. Not free, but like, I gotta do some things for it. But I want to know the story, or I want to get the last icon of power. That's pretty much Odin. I want his sword, damn it! it looks so badass. Where are you? Can I help you, Sid? I'm looking for Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Did she? What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. And about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. Give me a sec. I'm not going to do the main mission because I wish to finish the side quest. There's some, well, two of the side quests I could see could give me like some kind of reward. Is this guy gonna like upgrade my pouch again? More medicine? I think he is. How was she? With Canva in the hands of Akashic. I'll need to find another. Ah, Sid. <laughs> Just the man I was hoping to see. D did you have a mo? Don't tell me. You need more bomb ash. Oh no, we still got plenty of that left. 
I'm working on bringing another one of the Chief's designs to life. This time, it's a new smelter. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification and a system of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that, that, um, let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. A heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Only mithril engines get hotter, and you can't chuck ore in one of them and get metal out the other end. <laughs> Trouble is, we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. We need the good stuff. And I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Any chance you could help me too? If it's for the good of the hideaway, I'd be happy to. Oh, it is. I promise you. So, what exactly is this good stuff you need me to find? We've got a couple of examples here. Spherical echoes, we call them. More fallen materials. So this smelter is similar to the mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? And what's more, they're directional. Transferring heat from the inside to the outside. But these things, they're all outside. If we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. We've collected as many as we can, and I know where we can get the rest. Trouble is, they're all watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. So you want me to visit some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding? That's it in a nutshell, yeah. We're only three short, mind, and we know exactly where they are. There's one up Amber Way, in that ruin that they call Lost Plume, and another in the Silent South, over in Dalmechia. Last one is in the ruins of Advent, which is in the Empire. All right, then. Wish me luck. Will do. I'll be keeping all my fingers and toes crossed. This guy is always sounds suspicious. He I'm not even sure if he's actually doing it for for the for the good of the hideaway. Like he's just some kind of mad scientist. Let me see, uh which one's Blackthorn? The it's the three. Right here. Yeah, I, I wanna get I don't know, maybe a sword from them. Even though I got the Jill's, uh, the sword of Jill, or the Shiva sword. One more. B a better sword. So Dravosh is still standing. For now, at least. If you can swing a hammer, you can swing a sword. I have some things for sale. What the hell is this? The song. God damn it. Thank you. Certainly. At first, she doesn't sound like, uh, you know, like happy. I'm buying sh this. She's like, okay, thank you. Go away. May we meet again? Like, that's her tone. Hey, what's going on? Clive, you're here. And the Akashic. Mostly off to the north still. But I spoke to Doris's scouts, and it turns out things are worse than I thought. There's swarms of them out there. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. That should buy us some time if we need it. Enough for the villagers to barricade themselves inside their homes, at least. Well done. Welcome back. Sid. I'd never have guessed, you know. Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have thought that the savior of Dravosht would turn out to be the realm's most infamous outlaw? Keen to help us out again? I am. Thought you could sneak off without me, did you? Blackthorn. Oh, what are you doing here? One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. Unlike my best mate who didn't think I deserved to know. So then, how long's it been? Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old codgers, I see. That your idea of an apology? 
prick. Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best. For the village and that. I did, yeah. But that ain't the whole of it. Vulcan, our master, didn't leave the chieftain to the two of us. He left it to me. The best blacksmith in Travosht, barring himself, of course. Bloody stupid tradition, in my opinion. If someone's got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them to settle petty feuds and barter for grain. Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you're wasting half of mine instead. You're what Dravos needed. Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. I may be a selfish prick, but I only did what I felt I had to. What you had to do was your duty! Even if it meant we all starved? Enough. This is no time for bickering. You can finish beating each other up once Dravosht is safe. Fine. I've said my piece anyway. Yeah. So have I. Sorry, Clive. I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. We're short enough on time as it is. Still, give us a mo, would you? I need to get my head straight before any of them Akashic try to bite it off. When I'm ready? Why are you tell me when I'm ready? Uh... You, uh... Ready for the off, then? Why are you giving me this option? You're like you're telling me that there's no turning back. Like, the time that I fought with, uh... Well, not fought with... Well, fought with, uh, Ultimas. I don't know. I don't know. What, what was that? It's, like, so-called... Well, not his form, but, like... Something is similar to it. A fucking half of Titan. Oh yeah, where the fuck are you telling me this? We can't afford to waste any more time. Right you are. Might be worth having one last word with the scouts though. Don't want any nasty surprises, do we? Oh, and Blackford. You and Zoltan might be better off staying inside the- Akashic on the move. How close are they? Within sight of the walls. And there are more coming up from the mines. Uh, what was I saying about nasty surprises? They'll wash right over us if we stay out in the open. We're pulling back behind the gates. Good idea. Get yourselves inside, but keep your weapons handy. Understood. I'm prepared to fight if I have to. Well, let's hope you don't. That's our job. Once the scouts are inside, order your men to barricade the gates. No heroic last stands, you hear me? No fighting at all if you can help it. August's right. I've seen what Akashic beasts can do to armor. The people here are tough and willing, but they ain't equipped to face what's coming. I'm going out there. Start work on the gates as soon as I've left. I'll give you as much time as I can. And if they kill you? You evacuate. But it won't come to that. I promise. <laughs> You'd better be right. Take good care of Dravosh till I get back. Leave it to me. And... Give those things what for, yeah? Guy, damn it. Gonna charge. Go. You know, that's one. 
Lasagna!
to <laughs> let this be the one that it kills him. Shit! Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking tight he doesn't have the ultimate. Ah. Fuck! A fucking Ultimus pet, is it? No, the question is Did I miss any? Man alive! You still in one piece! I slow as many as I could. As many as I could, he says. The old bleeding lot more like it. Well, almost. Only almost. Yeah, one or two did try to sneak over the wall. But we got the bastards, don't you worry. Good. Though you do know, more will come in time. In time, yeah. But we can think about them later. Let's get you back inside. Well, they gotta move, but are they willing to move? That's the question. Sid, <laughs> you're even more fearsome than your reputation. <laughs> Enough to give those Akashic monsters nightmares. I almost felt sorry for the wretched things. But mostly, I felt grateful. Dravost won't forget what you did today. I'm afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no getting rid of that ether flood. Meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. And that's if the flood don't spread. If it does, well, I hate to say it, but the village's days are numbered. That may be, but we're staying just the same. With the ether flood springing up all over, it's no less safe than anywhere, and more importantly, it's our home. We'll fortify the gates to the north. And I'll see that they're guarded day and night. All right. Then we'll give you a hand shoring up those defenses. As for you, Blackthorn, that's twice you've turned up when Dravosh needed you. So... Thanks. I shouldn't have stayed away so long. And I shouldn't have left without talking it over with you first. Too bloody right you shouldn't. Though I doubt I'd have listened. I always envied you. How you made everything look so easy when, for me, it was anything but. You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate you. And from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. But what you said earlier, it was true. You'd have been the death of this place. Finally, something we can agree on. 
I hope you see the sense of it eventually. You kept this place alive. Alive, perhaps. Wealthy even, but... Dravoj isn't what it once was. Our work used to be the pride of Dalmechia. Now, we churn out the same rubbish day after day, because it's easy and turns a profit. It's not about the craft anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't send my sons to war wearing the shit most of our smiths are making. I've kept working, honing my skills, trying to lead by example, but no one sees the point. The average castle apprentice has as much passion for the craft as our current lot. Come back to us, Blackthorn. Remind Dravosht what a true master blacksmith looks like. <laughs> I'll even man those bellows of yours if it means we can work at the same forge again. That's a kind offer. Kinder than I deserve. And I wish I could accept, but I'm needed elsewhere. There's people who trust their lives to my steel. And I dare let him down. <sighs> Fair enough. But that doesn't mean I couldn't visit from time to time. Let's see if we can't rekindle this town's passion for the craft, shall we? I'd like that. Just be sure to tell Snotty to let me in the next time I come calling, yeah? <laughs> Knowing him, he'd let you in anyway. <sighs> Blackthorn. The Master Smith turned outlaw. Back in my good graces. I never thought I'd see the day. I'd say that went pretty well, wouldn't you? Even better than I'd hoped. Sid, I've got something for you. And this is? A token of our lasting gratitude. But I'm of a mind to make you a far grander gift. Designs for a certain sword have been passed down from chief to chief for generations. Now hold on, Sultan. There's a reason no one's made that blade in centuries. There's not been a craftsman equal to the task. I'll admit your cinders make impressive steel, and I've learned to own an edge Odin will be proud of. But the engravings on that thing are enough to make a jeweler cry. And they're not just for show, either. Have you forgotten what brought you back to Dravosht in the first place? Hmm? A certain ring? I knew I'd never surpass you with the hammer and tongs. So I turned my hand to a different kind of metalwork. Between the two of us. I'd say we're the equal of any master craftsman ever to have graced a forge. <laughs> you know what? I think you might be right. Clive, you wouldn't mind if Zoltan came back to the Idaway, would you? <laughs> He's more than welcome. As long as he can keep our secret. Right. Zoltan, get your tools. We've got a legend to forge. Whoa, 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 what do you mean? Hey, I'm actually fucking interested. Let me, let me go see. Oh, don't tell me we've run out of papio nuts and all. Ah, the man himself. We were just about to make a start on that sword, I promised you. It's funny, but none of this would have been possible without your help. You remember Camille? We'll be using his level work for the grip. The steel, meanwhile, will be tempered in a fire burning the cinders you charmed out of old Zoltan here. And that wet stone from the outer isles? That'll be what gives the blade its edge. And the final flourish will be my talented colleagues engraving. A team effort led by the greatest blacksmith alive. <laughs> now, now. Save that talk to the thing's finished, yeah? Right. I'm ready if you are. To the bellows it is, then.
Look at me. <laughs> we actually did it. A sword to end all swords. Ragnarok. It's quite something. I, uh, trust you'll take good care of it. Thank you. Both of you. So, does this make you pair the greatest craftsman alive, then? <laughs> this? <laughs> nah. This was just following the footsteps of the greats of old. It'll take more than that to earn us our place in history. But we're up for the challenge. Here. A list of materials. Zoltan and I got talking on the long road back from Dravoist. We reckon with those items there, we could craft something even better than the Ragnarok. Something worthy of a legendary outlaw like yourself. That's a weapon I'd like to see. You leave this list with me. I was hoping you'd say that. One legend at a time, eh, lads? Before you start on the next, who fancies raising a cup to friendship reforged? Good idea. No more drinking to forget my past. It's about time I had something to celebrate. <laughs> then tap the kegs! Vulcan's boys are on their way! Ragnarok? What the fuck? Do I get the blade? God damn. I got motherfucking Ragnarok. How strong is it? Got the spirit grung recipe. I don't know if I said it right. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Uh, is this stronger than the sword I have? I want to see. It is by 25. Holy shit. Look at that beauty. And there's something even better. What do I owe Diana? The one that did the, the recipe. <laughs> I never thought me and Zoltan would ever speak again. Let alone work together. And if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't. You've been a good friend of me, Clive. The best. What do you want? You know what I want? Or crack um dark steel. Oh, it, it, it merged with fucking Ragnarok. I don't know that, but I need to I need to hunt down. Fuck, I need to hunt down the, the oh, I don't know two of the monsters. Looks like it. But I need two dark steels. Not it. Fun. The stews hopefully the happy of us. I check the monsters. Fuck. Which one's Stark Steel? It better not be motherfucking the S rank. <laughs> it's most like he is. Let me see all the monsters. Let's see. Huh. Oh, maybe this one. It, it, might have dark seals like they're they look like thieves all about him fuck i gotta hunt down each and every one of them i don't even know where this this bastard is or even this one well i do uh, well never mind which one is it this one where the fuck do i find this bastard been a while tell me bitch i grew stronger than ever before I could take you down now. Why am I doing this? Too slow. Oh, what the fuck was that noise? Oh, 
Oh, transform, transform. Yeah. Oh, to me, boy. Not good. There we go, there we go. I hope this kills him. I hope this shit kills him. Give me the item when I need to, does he? I hope he does. Fuck. He doesn't give me anything. I already got these. Those who kill for sport deserve no better. Fuck. Wait, is, is one of my side quests the one with the the crazy guy here? Yeah. The the one with the what am I supposed to do? Search. Fuck. I'm gonna do this one. Get the echoes. He barely upgrade my fucking uh the amount of potion I could equip. God damn it. I fucking need it for the other bosses. My bounties. I'll need to deal with these ones first. That's another! What's wrong? I just want them to fall and take like some some kind of damage, damn it. What the fuck? Where the fuck are they spinning you around? Before. Thanks, girl. Uh, bitch, wake up. Nice try. Nice oh, fuck 
the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, bitch! I don't think I've seen him before do that. Fuck! This one, this guy is all doing all crazy bullshit here. Motherfucker. He's doing like all crazy moves. Something like he usually does that in second phase! Fuck! Trouble to get you two down, one to go. All right, there's not anything crazy here, is there? No, it's just them. You deserve a rest. Not a chance point for a while. Fuck. Magician. Where the fuck is the magician? Spear, it's the spear, damn it! God damn it! his toes now I want my pouch to grow bigger I want to get more fucking medicines better give me more medicine pouch I didn't do this all for nothing the all right then how are you gonna help me out ah Sid wasn't expecting you back so soon so is it good news or bad Good, thankfully. Yeah. Ah, that's brilliant! Thanks a blimmin' million! I'll fit into the smelter right away! I present to you the Telemon Furnace in Parishi. She's a beauty. You saved my bacon again, Sid, and I ain't about to let your good deed go unrewarded. It's it's fine, really. My back's uh, flexible enough already. Oh, don't say that. I'm sure I can make a few improvements to it yet. You could just buy me a bigger... How about that clasp? Looks a bit stiff. Reckon you could loosen it up and make some more room? And I reckon I know how. With a new alloy we've been working on, the Telemon Furnace was just what we needed to perfect it. It's a metal, see? So it's lovely and strong, but it's also, well, stretchy, if you can believe it. Stretchy metal. <laughs> 
Well, if you insist. That is the spirit. You will love it. I promise. So, what do you reckon? <laughs> it's actually quite ingenious. Thank you, Owain. Shh, don't mention it. You earned it. And I wanted to get some practice in using that metal anyway. Reckon we'll have all kinds of uses for it around the hideaway. Can't think of any right now, but that's our job, isn't it? Dreaming up new ways to make life easier around here. Maybe even out there, too. One day, the whole world's gonna know about the inventions you've helped us put together. That bag of yours will be the first of many. You mark my words. They'll hardly believe their eyes, I'm sure. Level up, good. Level 40. There we go, expand. Oh, fuck it, finally. Inventory, how much I could uh, put in? How, many, how much potion? 10? 20? 8 by 2. And only 1 for, for fucking uh, high potion. God damn it. With two Ds. God damn it.